that the YouTube tour on here. Um, I've been working on the uh, area with the mob trap. I added in a lovely sugarcane farm near the mob trap so that way I can let this grow while I'm kind of hanging out. And basically a full harvest will net me nine books, or nine bookcases I mean. Uh, so it actually, I do pretty good with this amount of, uh, of sugar cane. Um, and then my system's a little laggy because we have uh, about 150 or so skeletons waiting to be slaughtered. Um, I added in a light switch, but it doesn't disable the spawner, it just limits the spawn rate. If you flip it off, it goes pitch black and you'll notice that I get three spawning at once instead of just one. You'll see it here in just a minute. Dooby dooby doo. Come on, spawner. Give me some skellies. I'm hungry. Bones. Alright, lame, it only gave me one. Anyway, the last time I did this, it gave me three at a time instead of just the one. So, um, I have this here just to kind of slow the spawn rate. And, so let's go ahead and kill this skeleton. As you can see, I already got one power bow. Let's go ahead and kill the skeleton and see how much experience we get for all this. Now, I can kill these guys with my hand, but it takes forever. Because it takes two hits per instead of just one with the sword. Though what I do want to do, actually, is I want to get some splash potions of instant health so that way I can just kill them all with a single potion. But you can see I've done this a few times. I'm already up to level 29. Um, I'm hoping to get up there to like 40 or 50 so that way we can do some enchanting. Because uh, I did go to the nether um, after we got all those obsidian blocks. And what I want to do is start making some potions and start enchanting my swords and my pickaxes and stuff so we can mine faster and more efficiently when I do come into diamonds. I can get a fortune 3 pick and just burn right through it. And if I have a fortune 3 pick, I can get up to 3 or 4 uh, diamonds per block. Which would just rock. So as you can see, we have a lot of skeletons here. And this could take a while. But we're already up to level 32. So that's pretty awesome. The problem is, even as I'm killing these guys, it adds more. So what I might have to do is put a uh, a glass block in above these guys that's on the piston and then when I flip the switch to turn on those lights it would stop them from dropping all the way down and keep them like above these guys kind of like a blaze trap um, mechanism that I have when I do blaze traps so but I need to go find me some some slimes and that's the harder part because I need sticky pistons for it. So that may be the next goal is to find some some slimes. You know what, this is gonna kill me if I don't someday soon we might kill all these guys. You guys can probably hear my mouse clicking and going, Stop clicking the mouse! Man, what I would give for an instant splash potion right now. Alright, if I have to, I'm just going to go make me some more swords, because there's still a bazillion of these guys in there. I really have been letting this thing sit while I worked on other stuff for hours. Honestly, the hour, about an hour and a half, I would let it just sit here. Why I worked on the stuff outside and worked on that. 
So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, pause it, or not pause it, but uh, I'm going to cut out, kill these guys and cut back so you don't have to watch me do that. And we'll see how much experience and what type of items we get. So I will be right back, you guys. Alright, you guys, I'm back. Um, after like three more swords and about 40 minutes of, well, it seemed like 40 minutes of killing these guys, we are now at level 39. And we have a bazillion bows, plenty of arrows. I have five enchanted bows, more arrows, and bone meal and bones for days. Pretty awesome if you ask me. So I really like this trap. It's very effective. Um, it gives me all the resources I could need. And I don't have to really work for it. I just have to stand here for a while and kill things. But yeah, you guys, I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked. So now what I'm going to do is harvest these things. Uh, harvest this. Work on the on the enchanting room. I only need like another. I think it was ten bookcases. Maybe a couple more than that. And then I'm done with the uh, the bookcase section. So I'm going to work on that off camera, so I don't have to bore you guys with it. Um, but yeah, this is my my little sugarcane farm. This will come in handy when I make some other types of potions as well. So it does have a dual purpose. But I'm thinking I might put the brewing room like right here. Yeah, I could do that. Put a brewing room right next to this. Or push this back further and put, put it over this way. Yeah, there's not as many if I leave that on. But if we flip it off, they start coming in, in swarms. But we'll leave it on for now. So let's actually go see how many bookcases we can make today. I should get about eight or nine out of this. That was my guess. And 43 books. Actually, I had some books in there already from before. So. That was a bad count on my part. Actually, 43, well, that's not true. Because this gets split into three. finish off this stack with one left over. Let's see, we have 14 bookshelves. So that wasn't too bad. Um, just got to get about another six or seven uh, bookcases, possibly as many as ten, 
and we'll be finished with the bookcases for the enchanting room and we'll get that all uh, I'll get my first level enchant with you guys I'm hoping for something epic like a fortune 3 unbreaking type pick so we'll, uh, we'll have to see but that is the goal so but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here of the uh, mob spawner in action and uh, the sugar cane farm and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update to show you where we're at and I hope everybody's having a great day I really appreciate you guys watching the videos if you guys can just you know comment let me know what you like let me know what you dislike let me know what you want to see um, it's, it's a really big help and I would greatly appreciate it but yeah if you guys uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, take care, everybody. Peace.